Hello everyone, my name is Sumit Goya and I welcome all of you to BSP Self Learning Video Broadcast. Today I am going to tell you how to display a dashboard on a Visual Post page. In my previous video, I have taught you that how to create reports and dashboard in a Salesforce using an object. So we'll be using the same dashboard which we have created in the previous video and I will be going to display the same dashboard on a visual post page. So first of all let me switch to my Salesforce. So this is my Salesforce and in Salesforce I am going to create a new visual post page. So I give a name display dashboard and enter and as you can see here, it is giving an error over here, visual post error. So I click on this link to create the visual post page. In this page, what I'm going to do is the, previous, the code which is already there, I'm going to eliminate that code and I'm going to write my own code. Now, first of all, I would like to get the code of that dashboard. So I'll switch to my reports. So this is my, I click on reports and on reports this is the dashboard which we have created yesterday in, my, in previous videos so I click on this dashboard and as soon as I click on this dashboard the dashboard is open here I right click on this and click on inspect element now when I click on inspect element I can see over here there is a code over here so I click on this link <coughs> it will open the dashboard and I right click on this and click on copy image URL. Click on this. Again switch back to my visual force page and in this visual force page I write epix colon iframe src and paste that code over here. So this is the code for that dashboard. And at the end I write over here height is equal to for example 1000 and click on save. So when I click on save you can see the dashboard has created. If you want to give some title you can give a title over here. Heading Companies Dashboard slash H1 and save. So I got a heading over here, company dashboard and a dashboard. Now let's check whether this dashboard is dynamic or not or whether it's refreshed or not. So for this what I'm going to do is, because this the dashboard which we have created, this dashboard is based on position object. So for this I'm going to add a new record into position object. So I click on position and I add a new record into this. I select a non-IT position, click on continue here. I'm going to add a new position over here. So, for example, database administrator, and the, this is the opening date, this will be my closing date, travel is not required, minimum pay is for example, 35,000, maximum pay is 40,000. Location, I give it Chennai this time because you can see, oh, we have a Chennai, we have a Hyderabad, New Delhi, Bangalore, Dubai. So let's select some other location. We have Shanghai also. So almost we have got all the records. Anyway, I'll go for Hyderabad we have. So Chennai is the smallest. So I select here Chennai, open, and function area is, let's say, retail, and retail one and save the record. So the record has been created. Now I'll switch to reports first and check whether the it will the changes happens into dashboard or not. So I click on this dashboard and refresh it. You can see right now Chennai is less than ten thousand. And once it is once it refreshed, you can see the bar of the Chennai will be go up. See it still refreshing and you see the bar of the Chennai has gone up above 40,000. 
Let's see whether the changes have been done in Visual Force or not. So I'm going to refresh this Visual Force page. And as soon as it's refreshed, I can see the changes over here. So like this, we can display a dashboard and we can display multiple dashboards on a Visual Force page. And this Visual Force page will be easily accessible by the user. That's all in my video. If you have any questions, you can visit our website www.bispeedtrainings.com. For more interactive videos, you can visit our YouTube channel and please do subscribe it. I will, I will be coming up with some new videos, with some in, new and interesting topics. Till then, have a nice day ahead. Goodbye.